Welcome to Railway Legends, Myths, and Stories. I'm Kevin Stanley. If I tell you this is a locomotive, and this is a locomotive, and this is a locomotive, you might say, Kevin, that's obvious. So what would you think if I told you that this is not a locomotive? Well, I would not be at all surprised to hear you say, hey, Kevin, have you jumped the track? It sure looks like a locomotive. Well, today I will be talking about not locomotives. This is a type of MOW. You might say, okay, Kevin, what is MOW? MOW is shorthand for Maintenance of Way Vehicles. There are all sorts of special vehicles that come under the category of MOW. These kinds of equipment are built to do special work on the track, track bed, and the right of way. If we get some feedback, we might take an in-depth look at the different kinds of equipment that does this sort of maintenance. Okay? back to not a locomotive. While this unit does some of the same kinds of jobs as a locomotive, because of special working rules, it is not one. As I mentioned, to do maintenance of way work, there are many kinds of special equipment needed to keep the tracks and rail bed up to par. Much of the maintenance of way equipment like this is not all that large. Some of these types of equipment are self-powered, while others are not. There are times when there is a need for a more powerful main mover to haul a lot of it, or sometimes much heavier equipment. Now, while using a regular locomotive would be a simple matter, there is a catch. If this was a locomotive, it could only be operated by a locomotive engineer, and there would have to be a conductor as well. However, as this is technically a self-propelled maintenance of way vehicle, it can be operated by the maintenance of way people, who are in a different craft and union, as long as it works within certain limited rules. This is a big deal in railroading. One way around this was to use something big enough, powerful enough, but not really a locomotive, at least in a technical sense. So what happened is that a new kind of equipment was built that would both do the job, yet not be a locomotive. It would be something powerful enough to accomplish the task, but still be something that maintenance of way workers could operate. This boxy looking thing, built in early 2020, looks like a locomotive. It is apparently built on the frame of an SD40-2 locomotive. It can certainly move under its own power. Matter of fact, it is designed to have enough tractive effort to move a great deal of equipment. In this arrangement, there is a powered unit at one end and at the other end, an unpowered cab where an operator can control the movements from that end. It can have a consist of a variety of cars like this special car that has a turntable and ramp. A car like this will let the maintenance personnel deploy a different type of road equipment such as bulldozers and backhoes. This makes it possible to get equipment to many otherwise unaccessible locations. Other maintenance cars like this are a rail crane that rides on rails on a rail car. A crane and car combination like this is likely used for picking up and setting out ties. Besides these, there are a dizzying array of other special rail maintenance tools that might be used like this and this. This not a locomotive's greatest worth comes from being not only able to carry and move heavy equipment, but also to get it to wherever it is needed. So this very special piece of equipment was built to handle the kinds of jobs needed to keep the track and roadbed in good repair so the trains can keep on running. However, technically, it's not a locomotive. It's just a maintenance of way power unit. 
there is a need for far more maintenance of track and roadbed than most people realize. So until next time, as always, Kuma, we're done here. What do you want? Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Let me see here. Ah, Kuma says, please like our videos. And as always, we'll see you on the train, whether it has a locomotive or maybe not a locomotive.